Welcome back to AZ Astro. So, as you can see, I'm actually out here at Pick a Post Trailhead. Uh, my camera is currently doing its autofocus routine uh, tonight. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I chose to bring out with me the uh, Celestron AVX, and then I've got my Celestron C6 with my QHY183 on the front. Uh, the target I'm going for tonight is Andromeda. Uh, it is currently pretty low on the horizon, so I think I'm going to try for um, East Vale Nebula since I'm out here in nice dark skies. The first time I've been able to take this hyperstar to dark skies. So I'm going to try to get uh, East Vale Nebula as well, as well, compare it to the East Vale Nebula that I got in the city. Uh, so, as I said, right now I'm letting it focus. Hopefully it'll get good focus and then I can start imaging. So, I'll show you guys that uh, while I'm imaging. So, see you here in a bit. So uh, I'm doing 30 second exposures, Andromeda Galaxy. It's actually looking pretty good for 30 seconds. Uh, I'm doing 120 exposures. Uh, I think I might just stick with Andromeda all night tonight. Uh, I was thinking about maybe going to another target tonight as well, but I think I might come out again Sunday night to do another target. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how Andromeda is, has been turning out so far. It's absolutely insane how how much light this hyperstar 6 gathers but i'll keep you guys updated and see how many more images i can get all right so that's the end of my imaging night uh i got andromeda galaxy tonight i did about three hours yeah about three hours on it 30 second exposures 360 exposures i suck at math i ain't gonna try to do the math i uh, so it came out, uh, from what I saw on the screen, it looked absolutely excellent. So I think that final image is gonna look really, really good. Uh, I got an hour, so 120 30 second exposures on Triangulum Galaxy as well, which that was just, I got a wild hair uh, and thought I'd do the Triangulum Galaxy because that's one of those, uh, it's one of those objects that I've always struggled with. I can't get it from the city it's just too much light pollution. Uh, I tried getting it when I was over at uh, Verde River from a few videos ago. I actually got a pretty decent image uh, that I was pretty proud of, but I think that this image of Triangulum Galaxy is going to blow that one out of the water. Uh, with my QHY-183C and my Hyperstar 6, it, uh, it was really good sized in the frame, so it didn't fill out the frame completely like Andromeda did. But it was it, it took a big chunk of the of the picture, so it'll it'll look really good. Uh, I'm hoping to do this a lot more often. I would much rather drive for an hour to come out here to dark skies and be able to image out here in dark skies instead of my backyard. So hopefully you guys will get 
more of those videos to come, but uh, I will see you guys at the end of the video when I've processed the image, and I'm predicting that they're both going to turn out amazing. So I'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right, so that's a wrap. Hi, oh, Elliot. You want to be in the video? Yeah. Say hi to everybody, Elliot. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. So that's a wrap. I uh, went out to pick a post trailhead, and it uh, turned out excellent. I processed the two images that I've got and they've come out absolutely excellent. Andromeda, I think, is the best one that I've gotten so far. Don't knock over my tripod, Elliot. Yeah, it's a good boy. Yeah, say hi to everybody. Uh, Triangulum Galaxy was, is absolutely excellent through the Hyperstar. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Looks like Elliot's pretty excited right now, too. Uh, so the Triangulum came out really, really good. I was excited about that. I'm going to try to get out to these Dark Sky sites a lot more often. But yeah, it was definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, I have another video. I imaged the Cocoon Nebula. I'm currently trying to figure out how I can get it to not be so yellow. So I did the Hubble palette, which is HA red, uh, oxygen three, blue, and sulfur two, green, but it comes out yellow. And so I've already got everything recorded for that, but I'm, I'm working on the processing of the actual nebula, but I'll work that out. Uh, I wanted to record the ending out here in the backyard since it's only about 102, completely overcast. But yeah, I uh, really enjoyed doing that. I hope you guys like the video uh, more than the ones that I normally do just in the backyard. So. Don't mind the noises in the background. Background, somebody's apparently grinding something. But uh, I'll put the photos at the end of the video. Thank you for uh, watching the videos, and I'll see you guys next time.